This road is just full of surprises, isn't it? Back there, there was a flood from a clogged culvert. There was another one which wasn't too terrible. There's this big flood here, which is caused by a clogged culvert because it's washed out there making that big hole. Because the culvert I'm on top of right now is clogged and it crosses over there, eroding that when it rains. Right here's another area that the water crosses because a clogged culvert. This is the easiest place. Water will gush across the road here. Now the actual culvert is right here under this hump, which might be clogged or it's just, no, it looks like it's working. Oh, we got to get out and see that one. That one's made out of wood, it appears or it, it at least has some wood stabilization. And I don't even know why I'm pulling over. No one else is coming down this road. I see a tree laying down across the whole thing that I gotta cut up. Such a beautiful day. Yeah, so that's what it is. When this culvert gets overwhelmed, that's where it crosses. Because they didn't think it through all the way when putting it in. Okay, it's a metal culvert. It's just stabilized by wood. So there's two of them. We got the high one here, which is completely rotted out on the bottom. I can still hear water in there. And I'm sure it's damaging something, allowing it to run with the bottom rotted out. Look at that. The entire bottom is rotted. And that's only going to continue. When that starts happening underneath the actual road, that's gonna cause so much damage. It's not, it's gonna make the road impassable because it's gonna start digging it out and making a sinkhole. All right, now the other one here, which is handling most of the current, that, it's all rotted out too. At least the bottom is made out of gravel so it can't really dig much. But the loggers actually thought this through. They expected it to fail. Looks like in both cases, there, I don't see any wood on the bottom, so it can definitely dig underneath the sides, but they encase the edges with logs. So if it does rot through, there's nothing like soil to erode. There's logs. But if it digs down, it can dig underneath the logs, definitely, like this guy is. This one dug regardless of the logs. Look at this piece of junk. I just jumped up on top of it. The entire end of it. Feels like it's just gonna break off. It's so compromised. Now across the street, where it's coming in, no clog, and that's where the brunt of it is. Yes, we got a clog there. We're gonna go ahead and get some of that debris out, but I gotta get on my big tall boots first. All right, before we get working, let me show you what's happening. This one is holding up a lot, the debris there. This whole thing is going to drain back. Well, it should, assuming it's in good working order. Now, this is the other one that was all rotted out. It doesn't start rotting until over there, not under the immediate road. But this one, that's fine.
We're all clear. That one, the broken one's not running at all now. You can see this whole area is draining. You saw that one moment when I was like, oh, I gotta soak myself to get that giant one out of there. There was like a giant rock underneath there that was in the entrance. I had to roll out of the way. That was actually the majority of the clog. Whole bunch of sticks building it up. And something that looks like a railroad tie, but it can't be. Must be an old piece of lumber the loggers were using. Yeah. Throw my boots up on the street. All right, let's go see what's happening on the other side of the street before it calms down. Look at all the sediment moving. This drainage ditch hasn't been open in a while. Look at that, we dropped like a foot from clearing that. Oh, downstream is a mud storm. But that'll clear up in a few minutes. All right, now that we're back over here, this one is now out of service. It's not going at all. But this one is blasting more than it ever was. And now that it's clear and we can see daylight through it, I'm gonna do a visual inspection, see what's happening. This one is a lot better than the other one. It's rotten right here on the end, as you're seeing. But if I bend down and look in there, I can't say it's in great shape, but it's in fair shape. It's not gonna erode and wash out the road yet. They got a few years left in it. You can still see a lot of sediment and debris being washed out from the other side. It'll clear up in a few minutes. All right, let's get back over to the other side and see our progress. So this is what the clog was. A few heavy water log things. But you can see the area that we dropped. It's a good foot so far. And it's continuing to drop. We'll take another look at that before we completely leave. Just want to show what I was talking about. When that thing becomes overwhelmed, probably in the spring melt, it starts crossing the street down here at the lowest point. There really should be another culvert here. And they could easily, probably will when they start logging this again. All they have to do is dig it out just a tiny little bit, put a culvert in, and build a big hump. That's what they usually do now, build a big hump, because they realize their culverts fail really easily. I don't like the idea of plastic. They get crushed really easily, and also they get damaged even worse over the years of settling because plastic is more malleable than metal. Plus, the metal ones, when you rip them up, you can just leave them out here and they'll rot away naturally. The plastic won't. That'll cause damage as it breaks down in the environment. All right, after like 10 minutes, we're not eroding anything else. Not really. It cleared up really nice, except for what I'm stirring up with my feet. So this culvert here won't run again until the one I just did on, uh, clogs up again. This one had a few inches going through it. What do we got inside there? What was someone drinking? Some light beer with a touch of strawberry lemonade. And that one is open all the way. Ah. Just put my butt in the water. Crouching down to look in there. Where's the top of the pipe? Okay, this is the top of the pipe. It's not blocked, this is the top. And if you see, I put my foot, see how far down it goes? I believe this end of the pipe is lower from years of settling.
and no ticks on myself. For some reason, the ticks don't seem to be this far out. They only seem to be in country areas, like near a lot of farms. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching. All right, now the road up here appears to be blocked by a fallen tree. Oh, right here, the road's kind of messed up too. It might even flood over here also. Yeah, it looks like it's completely blocked. No one else has been down here in a long time. The grass isn't even pushed over. It doesn't look like anyone's drove around it. All right, I got my handsaw. I'm not gonna bother getting the chainsaw out for this one. Yeah, it should be pretty simple. Got a ton of recent moose tracks all over the ground there. All right, just drove through another area where a bunch of water's crossing. And there's no culvert there. The reason that's happening is because if you notice off to the left, this drainage ditch is full of mud. They're not keeping up with it. That's supposed to be dug out and bring it down to the next culvert, but it's slowly filling in from neglect. I just stopped because we have another tree that I'm going to move out of the way. Because you see everyone's driving around it, but that's only like a five minute fix. Why has no one else done that? That only took one minute with a handsaw, and by the evidence of the grass in the middle of the street turning yellow from lack of sunlight, that was probably there for at least two weeks. Wouldn't be surprised if it even fell in the middle of winter. But it's clear on the ground right here, we got some nice moose tracks. We had a moose here recently. Off to the side. I got some mosquito larvae in there. Now that there, that's frog eggs. That big clump right here. I got tree sap all over myself. And I've realized the best way to get tree sap off, not mud. You want like a little bit of sand. You grind it back and forth really fast. And it takes everything right on off. Yep, there it is. Works better than soap. Because you need that scrub of the sand. Took it all off. The ones right here are further along. Now those ones look like they're developing into tadpoles. Sadly, most of them will die. They'll be picked off by birds in pools like this. Oh wow, look at them all. Thousands of them. Yeah, those are 100% tadpoles. These ones are even more developed. Look at them. Some of them are actually moving inside the eggs. Look at them. Like that one. Yeah, a few of them are actually free. That's mosquito larva. The one here. Now this one is a tadpole. There are so many tadpoles. Yeah, look, these ones are out of the eggs. Look at them all. Thousands of them. These are the most developed ones. They're actually moving and out of the egg. The ones here, they're in the egg. They're not moving yet. Now those ones there are underdeveloped. You don't even, they're just a round dot. They're not even formed yet. And the ones over here are even less formed. Look at those. They're almost translucent. Just a big blob. 
I'll make sure I don't pull ahead through all this. I just stopped to move that tree. Have a good day.